Hello Aries, welcome to Sidekick Tarot. I'm Ryan, and thank you for being here. It's going to be a general reading for you may be dealing with. Of course, everything may not resonate, so take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, please check out my wife's channel, at Valve 3 Tarot, she'll read for you as well. Thank you. going on mm. plans falling through maybe we'll see okay <laughs> what's that what's that about aries goodness uh <laughs> right away i'm a little bit question questioning of their uh what, what's going on between the two but something's going on um this is definitely someone that's very close to you or close proximity to you. It definitely feels like it could be in the workplace, but we'll see. Whoever this person is, they are showing up quite sharp and clear-minded about this, but I'm a little curious myself as to why it shows up that the two of you are in some sort of collaborative or working together energy. But even though it's an energy of the two of you are kind of like not really truly getting along, there's still some sort of benefit on their end. That's what's interesting. There you are. That's what I was kind of wondering. Um, yeah, but there's something there's something there about the connection between the two that just isn't sitting quite right with them. It's almost like in this energy of it seems in <laughs> geez, do I really have to say this today? Um, I just started Crossroad Washer. I just started. Um, It's almost equivalent, Aries, as if the way that things are, like, working between the two of you is meant to be taking place like that. I, I feel like whoever this is is well aware that they're in this mindset. Maybe they're not 100% kind of, like, putting in the work and effort with this connection between the two of you. I don't exactly know. But there's something here that they're, like, literally in denial about or over. But yet they're still kind of considering, like, what the future could be like possibly with the two of you. Um, <clears throat> some they don't want to face. Yeah, and there's the communication kind of follow through with that. It's like, um, that'll do it. That'll do it. Oh, yeah, this is this is interesting. This is interesting, Aries. Whoever this person is, they they get it get this. They get a kick out of this type of mentality. They get a kick out of it. They're showing me it's like <clears throat> They're going to hold a grudge or have some sort of resentment or be in denial about something that's going on with themselves. In a sense, they're not truly acknowledging themselves. Yet at the same time, there is kind of like this, how do I say this? Like, there's this premeditated communication taking place between the two of you. And that's what I find very fascinating on their end. Because it's almost like they themselves aren't acknowledging this. And so they're like, well, let me just take a moment to myself. And now I'm ready to lash out. And it's like, wow, okay. And so somehow they get some sort of satisfaction out of this. And it's like, that's what sparks some sort of love. Is to kind of lash out and be careless with their words. Got a crafty little magician on her hands. Crafty little magician, that's why. Yeah, right there, crafty little magician. This is someone who's, this is someone who's, who's sour. This one's, this one's very sour, like spoiled milk. That's why. That's why. Whatever this is that they're trying to kind of put together, it's almost like even if there is communication between the two of you, um, it's like they're making moves on purpose that do not turn out in someone's benefit once again it's like something's clearly financially working in their benefit at the same time it's almost like the way they move and operate is like um very they, they pull some strings here it's almost like gaslighting it's gaslighting they get a kick out of it because they're making moves and it's kind of like they know themselves as in 
I'm not too happy, but I'm still gonna move forward with this anyways because I get some sort of kick or I'm happy out of it. It's like, this is someone who's looking out for like revenge. Yeah, and there it is again. There's something here that they're just, they're refusing to see something about themselves. And they're, they're, they're almost kind of like refusing to kind of, I'm not going to say just get over it and release this and heal. Um, but it's almost like their circumstances have put them in this situation. It's put them in a little bit of a bind. They know they have to kind of keep going with this. At the same time, even the energy of having to keep going is something that they're kind of like, and I'm not going to drop that either. It's like... Who's, someone's got a huge chip on their shoulder and it's almost like they're wondering why things are turning out the way it is and it's like well you're walking around with a chip on your shoulder check yourself first like i said that they're well aware that they're doing this and that's what i find very fascinating they're well aware of this they're like no i know i can operate this way and get away with this that's the type of mentality it's like fine then watch this yeah, and so they're, they're trying to figure out ways to kind of like, like keep their endeavor going or keep the financial abundance and success and security going. Um, but they themselves are kind of like, mm, I just don't know, I just don't know, I just don't know. So they know how to be manipulative. But when it comes to their own personal endeavors, they just don't know what else to do. So what they're kind of saying, Aries, and it's going to sound very harsh and blunt, but they're saying possibly pulling your strings is easier than pulling their own regarding their own endeavors. They're saying you're a little bit more easier to manipulate and control through communication and get their way with, but when it comes to their own stuff, they're like, I have absolutely no idea. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. But then at the end of the day, you get the last laugh that's something else right there you get the last laugh it's almost like all that all that fight and all that fuss for what because at the end of the day they're still showing up like yeah let's go get some drinks yeah let's go out for an event let's go get you know let's go socializing um and even they're kind of <laughs> geez even they're like yeah, this is fun this is exciting and then it's like by the end of that it's like oh i'm not miserable it's like yeah okay yeah there it is there the the, the mask finally slips off <clears throat> And now they're trying to figure out more ways of how to, jeez Louise. Now they're trying to figure out more ways of how to manipulate. That's what that is. They possibly are aware of divination and tarot. I'm just going to say it. Yeah. Yeah. And they're ultimately kind of saying like, they only use this type of information to manipulate. Because the ultimate what they're saying is they get a kick out of this. But deep down, whatever's going on between the two of you, they could just give zero Fs. So of course, if you are dealing with anyone, you could be dealing with an air sign, a fire sign, maybe a water sign, and that is all. Goodbye.